what's going on everyone welcome back to the michiganambushoutdoors.com youtube page and today we're out here doing a squirrel hunt and i just wanted to quickly talk to you about the type of calls that are available on the market and how to use them so the call that you're probably going to see the most is going to be a reed style call uh, that utilizes a bellows on top this one is a custom call uh, double reed uh, by jpo game calls if you guys are interested in picking up uh, a call similar to this um, you guys can go over to jpo and use ambush 10 at checkout and you guys will save yourself 10 percent off on your order now, when I first started getting into squirrel hunting, uh, the first call that I picked up was this Primos call. Again, this is another reed style call. I don't know if you can see it, but um, there is a metal reed uh, down in this little tube here. And again, it utilizes a bellows. And how you're gonna use these calls is, you know, there's no wrong way to try to call squirrels, but I'll show you the way that I use them. Um, and when using this type of call, what I'm trying to do is just simulate a bark sequence uh, to try to pull squirrels in or make them curious enough to come in so you can get a shot. Now, how you're gonna use this, uh, there's actually a couple different ways. You can use uh, just a regular bark or you can try to simulate a chatter. Uh, but the best way that I've figured out how to use this call is I just kinda cup it in my hand and then just take my thumb and kinda just do that a little slower. Now, there is another way that you can do this. is just by cupping it and then tapping the bellows. Now the only difference between those two styles is I find that I always go a little too fast when going this way. And it sounds kind of, it doesn't sound as realistic. When I cup it like this and just use my thumb, I feel like it sounds a little more realistic um, to how a squirrel would bark uh, to some other, other squirrels in the area. Now the other way that you can utilize this call is trying to do a chatter call and all you're gonna do is just aggressively shake this. And that's basically how you're gonna do it. Now, um, I'm gonna switch over to the Primos call. You're gonna use this call the exact same way as you would that JPO call, but um, just go ahead and check out the, the different types of sounds that these two calls make. And then if I went to like the same kind of cup style, actually, I can't even really do it with this call. And I'm not, putting too much back pressure on it. You're almost, you're almost getting a squeak sound. So really, if you're gonna utilize this call, you're gonna have to tap it. But you can also, also aggressively shake this call to get the chatter. So it doesn't, like I said, the whole reason that I went with a JPO game call is because it sounds, to me personally, it sounds way more realistic than this Primo's. Now, the price point on these two calls is significantly different. You can pick one of these up at Amazon, Dunham's, Dick Sporting Goods for probably like 15, 20 bucks, whereas this call right here was about $60. Um, but like I said, you can use Ambush 10, get yourself 10% off uh, if you guys are looking for a call that's a little more realistic. It's got that raspy sound to it. kind of like how a squirrel would make. So um, now what's different about these two calls is like I said, they're both reed style, both bellow styles, but this one actually does have a distress call on it. And how you're gonna use that distress call is you're just gonna put your lips on it and suck in. And like I said, all you're trying to do is you're just trying to simulate a squirrel in distress, either being attacked by a hawk or a different type of predator. Um, some people recommend that you kind of shuffle some leaves around to make it sound a little more realistic. But again, the intent with the call is to draw them out of a nesting area so you can get a shot. Now, being that I don't use the Primos call, um, I did get one of these as a stocking stuffer and it's the same thing. It's a distress call. You put your mouth on it, suck in. But here's the sound difference that this one makes versus that Primos. little lighter not as squeaky and definitely more realistic and i have to say that i've used this call a couple times on different squirrel hunts and each time i've used this i've actually pulled squirrels in or at least pulled them out of their nest to give me a shot so this thing does work it's not a waste of money um you can pick these up for fairly inexpensive i forgot the name of it but i'll put a link in the description of below to all these calls as well as the discount code for jpo So if you're having a slow day out in the squirrel woods, uh, what I would recommend is try using that distress call. Um, and then you can even kind of use a combination as the bark. 
to try to pull some of those squirrels in from their nesting area so you can get a shot. Now, of course, depending on the type of season, if you're doing late season, calling is not really as effective. I've had more luck using the distress call than I have um, the, the bellow style call, but that's not to say that this doesn't work. I've had squirrels come in on a leash to this call after barking at them. And I mean, these things do work. So if you are big into squirrel hunting or getting into squirrel hunting and you're looking at some, some calls, um, make sure you guys go check out JPO game calls. Like I said, Primos has got one pretty inexpensive. So depending on your budget, what you wanna spend and then what type of sound you're looking for is really gonna determine the type of call that you go with. Let me know which call you think sounds more realistic, either the JPO or the Primos. Leave a comment below. Let me know which one you guys think sounds better. So that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment below. And then if you guys have not checked out the michiganambushoutdoors.com webpage, please go over there and check it out. It's not a requirement that you guys buy anything, but your purchase of our merch greatly helps us out and keeps us doing what we're doing. Um, we do have blaze orange beanies, blaze orange hats, and then we also have some camo hats and then some shirts available. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one.